world-renowned director Alfie Hitchcock comes his greatest horror masterpiece. Will not be seen tonight in favor for Birdemic. Guys, you're in for a treat this episode. This film has been called one of the worst films of all time. And you're about to see why. So the basic plot of Birdemic is that there's a bird apocalypse and everyone's just trying to survive. That's pretty much it. Think Walking Dead, but with less character development. And birds. And horrible acting. Actually, just go watch The Walking Dead for something as special <laughs> as this. I'm going to go through the film and highlight about key moments that should really need to be addressed. So without further ado, this is Birdemic. First of all, the opening sequence is... Wow, it's just long. It's just driving along and nothing happening, just him driving. Oh, by the way, get used to this. Just constant filler. Also a preemptive HA for visual effects. Just saying. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the sound could do with a little bit of adjusting. This is Rod. He's about as interesting as a rice cake, but you'll go to love him. I remember you now. You were my English class. I was. Yeah, I sat two seats behind you. God, he puts as much effort into his lines as Tommy Rousseau. Actually, no, let's put that to the test. Rod versus Tommy. Let's go. Great, thanks. We appreciate your business. They betrayed me, they didn't keep their promise, they tricked me and I don't care anymore. Wow, congratulations. You're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. I work at a startup company called NCT Software. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Hate to say it, but I think Tommy wins. Oh, Jesus, more filler. Look, here, here. Here's how you can speed it up. You show him going to work in the car, and then he's at work. Hi, my name is Jerry Owens. I'm from Solar Power Accessories. Uh, we have an appointment today. Oh yeah, yeah, come on. Oh. Um, I, are you, movie? Are you serious? Like, we're just gonna have this whole segment based on whether he wants to buy solar panels? Um, all right, I'll carry on. Yes, it goes nowhere. Now, believe it or not, guys, this, yeah, this is the best bird effect in the entire movie. You have been warned. Saying that this film has bad pacing is an understatement. You want an example? Other than the past examples I've shown you? Take a look at this scene. <laughs> My god. And it just keeps going on and on and on. You never forget it's gonna stop. And when it finally does, it just feels awkward. Ah, uh, this is how I like to spend my dates. In a restaurant where no one is around and captured by some guy who wants me to listen to his singing. Perfect. Okay, now, maybe I'm bullying this film a little too much, but. There are some good aspects to it. I mean, some of the cinematography is alright, and it's not like anything could get any worse. It got worse. Yeah, because this is what Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds was missing. Airplane sounds and a constant loop of birds going, <laughs> You know, it's times like these when you think, what was the director thinking when he let this through? Was he just thinking, well, people won't notice. People won't think that birds look totally unrealistic and not even in the same place as them. I think even he, one of the actors is smiling. Yeah, yeah, she is smiling, so yeah. Ugh. The birds spit acid now? And where did they spit it from? From their mouths? From some other orifice I don't really want to think about?
I want this moment framed. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, where are the birds going? That was it? They just kill a few people and then leave? Seriously? And then they just walk in the sunset like, yeah, we didn't learn anything, did we? No. Nope. Oh, by the way, you want to hear why the birds attack people? Oh, you want to go? You want to want to listen to this one? It's because they're concerned about global warming. I am not joking. That's the that's the genuine reason why all these birds are attacking. Then why are they attacking us? I don't know. But what I do know is global warming is causing viral diseases such as bird flu, West Nile virus, and SARS. Oh, they won't. You're very safe here in the forest. Haven't you noticed those eagles seem to be going after people in their cars and gas stations? Okay, Mr. Director. All right. If you want to make a film about global warming and the dangers of climate change, do that. Feel free to make that. But... What the hell's with the birds? Seriously! It doesn't make sense. As soon as you make birds attack people for... because they're like Al Gore, then it, it loses all believability. The Arctic is experiencing faster melting. If this were to go, sea level worldwide would go up 20 feet. Overall... I would say... Go watch it. Yeah, even after the crap I've said, go watch it. It's just so bad, it's good. Honestly, you won't regret it. This has been Film Freak, and tune in next time.